we're diving into the wild world of walleye fishing, starting with the National Walleye Tour Championship that took place on Lake Erie in Dunkirk, New York. Day one of the 2022 championship did not disappoint, with plenty of fishing action and lots of celebration on the water. Boom, baby, let's go! That's a beautiful five pounder. When we returned to the weigh-in, we saw many of our familiar faces coming to the scales with the hopes of putting some competitive weights on the board. But it was 2019 champion John Hoyer who blew everyone away with the largest limit of the day. 39.81, there we go. Here's a look at the day one pro angler standings heading into day two. It's day two of the National Walleye Tour presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. The field knows the stakes are high as day two means cut day and only the top 10 pros and the top 10 co's will go on to compete for the championship title and a chance at a piece of a cash purse worth over $475,000. Let's get right to it and hit the water with day one leader, John Hoyer and his co-angler, Eric Vett. Push on. Oh boy. There you go. All right, we're on the board. Nice. After that fish, these competitors went on a tear and landed keeper after keeper. There's a little nicer one. Hit it. Nice. And it looks like the rest of the field is reeling them in as well. Boy, he just fell off in the net, too. <laughs> it's a start. Current fourth place pro Austin Rosowski and his co angler Wesley Ruff have their limit and are now looking to cull. To the net. Nice scoop, bro. Back on the leader's boat, John is about to maintain his impressive run here at the National Walleye Tour Championship. Coming up. Get ready. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> My gosh! Oh, what a giant. I can't believe we found another one of these today, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw it out there and it was almost too bright to be true, sitting right by a weed. And uh, it nipped it and I was like, no way. And then it just smoked it. Sweet. We're back in Chadwick Bay Marina for the day two weigh-in. Remember only the top 10 in each division will move on to fish the final day of competition. Max Wilson holds on to his hopes of winning Angler of the Year with a two-day total of 5408 and a fifth place finish. Adam Anderson holds on to his day one third place spot with a two-day total of 5690. Dwayne Jelm has been red hot this season, cashing in over $130,000 in the last two events. He's locked into fish tomorrow and sitting in second place with a two-day total of 6005. Day one leader John Hoyer launched this morning with a nine pound lead over the rest of the field. Let's turn it over to Anthony for the call. Another 30 pound bag, 30, 79, 70, 60 for your two day total. It was definitely a different day for us. Um, Eric started off with a hot hand and uh, luckily got you know the first two in the live well. And then I saw this one and it was like, instantly moved and I was like, oh my gosh, and it was like tick and it missed it. I ripped my bait up one more time and it just smoked it. So that was one of those unicorns from yesterday, like a 30 incher. So it was, it was an awesome day. Here's a look at the top 10 qualifiers in both the pro and co-angler divisions. It's day three of the National Walleye Tour Championship, and we're wasting no time in getting out on the water with the competitors. With less than eight hours left in the season, John Hoyer and his co-angler are hooked up with their first fish of the day. Number one, cat came back. Yep. With their first in the boat, John and Cullen went on a tear. Hang on, okay. We can do it like that. With a boat up for grabs for first and second place on the pro side, Dwayne Jelm is chasing both the AOY title and the potential $100,000 payout for second place. Nice. Nice, 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 buddy. That's the right length. That is, ouch. That is definitely the one that we are uh, wanting. That's probably a seven or eight pounder there. 
By mid-morning, both Hoyer and Jelm have a limit in the boat. With five hours left in the day, they're starting to pull away from the rest of the field. And the day became a battle for first and second between Hoyer and Jelm. Giant walleye. Woo! OK. Colin was on a little dry spell. I was on a little dry spell. And then he but caught you a six-pounder. He told me that I needed to get a six-pounder, so that's what I was thinking I was going to do. What we said is we might invite Robert, the camera guy, to the six-pounder part if we catch one. Back on the second-place boat of Dwayne Jelm and Timothy Berg, it looks like the co-anglers are stepping up to finish out the day. There we go. No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, man. There's a 28. <laughs> might even be bigger. Oops. I'm going to go up here. Right at 28. Competition for the 2022 season of the National Walleye Tour is over, and there's a lot at stake in the next few minutes. The overall title is on the line, as is Angler of the Year title. On the pro side, that battle is down to Max Wilson and Dwayne Jelm. Looking at the payout numbers, there's $394,000 up for grabs on the pro side, including a Ranger Boats package for first and second place, along with thirty dollars in cash to the champ and an additional $15,000 for second. On the co-angler side, the top finisher will take home a boat along with $6,000 for a $51,000 total package of their own. At the scales, Keith Cavaya's got things rolling with a three-day total of 81.12. Keith held on to the lead as, one by one, anglers fell to the wayside, including Angler of the Year contender Max Wilson. Keith's reign was short-lived once Dwayne Jelm and co-angler Timothy Berg put a limit on the scales. They have a five-fish limit all alive. It's going to lock in here today at... 30, 82, 90, 87, and 92, 33, two new leaders. With a guaranteed second place finish, both Dwayne and Tim locked up the 2022 Angler of the Year titles in their respective divisions. And now we're down to our final anglers, John Hoyer and co-angler Colin Martin. We'll turn it over once again to the tournament director for the final call. Your three-day total is going to be, today's total is 3173, 102.33! Y'all put your hands together, the two champions right here at Dunkirk, New York! I was getting bit every cast when we left, and our last three fish, our upgrades were an eight, a six, and a six and a half. It was unbelievable. Really cool to share that day with Colin. Awesome that he won also. Super well deserving because he, I told him, I said, we're going to have a six pounder party. I need a six pounder out of you. If you want to win, we need a six pounder. And he caught a six and a half pounder in the last 15 minutes. So um, yeah, I'll be throwing the party for him. John is the second angler in history to win two overall championships and will take home a prize package worth more than $129,000. Here's a look at the pro and co-angler final standings. On the co-angler side, Colin Martin will take home a Ranger boat and $6,000. I'm very fortunate for this opportunity and all my friends and family back home that, you know, I owe all this to them just as much as, you know, for me. So, super awesome day, super awesome week here out in Lake Erie in Dunkirk, New York, and uh, ready to celebrate the victory. Well, that's a wrap for the 2022 National Walleye Tour Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. You can find all the information about how to register for next year's events at nationalwalleytour.com.